had he done his duty in that respect, Lydia need not have been indebted to her uncle for whatever the honor of credit could now be purchased for her. The satisfaction of prevailing on one of the most worthless young men in Great Britain to be her husband might then have rested in its proper place. He was seriously concerned that a cause of so little advantage to anyone should be forwarded at the sole expense of his brother-in-law, and he was determined, if possible, to find out the extent of his assistance and to discharge the obligation as soon as he could. When first Mr. Bennett had married, economy was held to be perfectly useless, for of course they were to have a son. This son was to join in cutting off the entail as soon as he should be of age, and the widow and younger children would by that means be provided for. Five daughters successively entered the world. But yet the son was to come, and Mrs. Bennet, for many years after Lydia's birth, had been certain that he would. 